thought about some of the skills that you use on a daily basis. How about some of those skills that give you an advantage over other people around you? We're going to look at five different early hominids that all had special abilities that gave them advantage over other species around them. In 1974, an exciting discovery took place in the Afar Triangle of Africa. Donald Johansson discovered a partial skeleton which seemed to have belonged to an early hominid. This species was named Australopithecus afarensis, but nicknamed Lucy. Lucy was only about three feet tall and lived three to four million years ago. The remains of other hominids similar to Lucy have been found in the same area. Hominids like Lucy had some excellent capabilities that helped their species survive. Lucy was a biped, meaning she walked on two feet. This was a great advantage compared to other animals that walked on all fours. Since their hands were free, they could carry food easier and defend themselves and their children from predators. The bones of a second type of hominid were discovered by Lewis and Mary Leakey. This species of hominids were named Homo habilis, or handyman, in reference to their ability to make tools. This type of hominid lived around 1.5 to 2 million years ago. They averaged 4 feet tall and also walked on 2 feet. They are noted for their ability to make tools. Because of their larger brain size, handyman figured out that making tools was key to their long-term survival. They used rocks as chopping and cutting tools. They also used animal bones as digging sticks. Making tools helped the handyman live longer and better lives. A third type of hominid was discovered on an island off the southern coast of Asia. When these bones were assembled, the skeleton stood straight up. The team that discovered these bones nicknamed this group of hominids Homo erectus, or Upright Man. Upright Man survived longer than any other hominid group. They lived from 1.8 million to 200,000 BCE. The remains of Upright Man have been discovered in Asia and Europe. They averaged 5.5 feet and were good walkers and runners. Upright Man had larger brains than Lucy or Handyman, which allowed them to create more complex tools. Their greatest advantage to the other hominids was their ability to use fire. Scientists have concluded that Homo erectus ate more meat than earlier hominids. Scientists also believe that they built shelters to protect themselves from the elements. These capabilities enabled Homo erectus to survive longer than any previous hominid. A fourth type of hominid was discovered in Germany's Neander Valley and was given the scientific name of Homo sapiens neanderthalensis but we will call them Neanderthals. Neanderthals lived from 230,000 to 30,000 years ago in Africa, the Near East, Europe, and parts of Asia. Although they were shorter and stockier than modern humans, they were much stronger. Neanderthals had larger brains than the previous hominids. This larger brain allowed them to become skilled tool makers. Making more advanced tools helped the Neanderthals immensely, but what really helped them was their ability to work together. The Neanderthals were the first of the early hominids to hunt in an organized group. They would work together to surround and trap an animal. This proved to be advantageous to their species. Although the Neanderthal species became extinct, they did live with early modern humans for around 10,000 years. The first prehistoric cave painting was discovered in 1879. This cave was decorated with paintings of deer, bison, wild horses, and boars. The people who created these types of paintings were the earliest members of our own group of humans called Homo sapiens sapiens, or doubly wise man. The earliest form of modern humans lived from 35,000 to 12,000 BCE. They were also better hunters than their predecessors. They made hooks and spears to catch fish. They also invented the spear thrower and bow and arrow which allowed them to hunt from a safer distance. They also had an artistic side to them. The doubly wise man painted on the walls of their cave and carved images out of clay and bone. Not only did they live in this world, but they also had the ability to imagine, dream, and communicate their thoughts to others. These capabilities proved to be beneficial to their and our existence. Soon enough, Homo sapiens sapiens will develop complex language and farming, and complex cities that will grow into larger powerful empires. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Here's some resources and some photo credits.